This is Ujjwal Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial we are going to learn about two topics as well as gate problems and uh, an approach to solve numericals right so those are those topics are first is damping factor damping factor and related related about it and next is basically in the question they have asked critical damping okay they have asked to find out critical damping coefficient and next is logarithmic decrement so basically they have asked two question one is they have how to find out critical damping coefficient as well as logarithmic decrement so basically uh, why I am sharing with you first uh, formulas because I want you to have some at least something about the numerical problems before going to read the question otherwise you will be like that, uh, like that blank mind I mean that's not possible uh, to get attention or to understand the numerical problem directly what I think that's why I am sharing with you first formulas so what is basically damping factor okay so damping factor it is denoted by zeta and its ratio is actual damping coefficient ratio critical damping coefficient actual damping coefficient is denoted by c and critical damping coefficient is denoted by cc further we can write this as km because critical damping is 2 root under km what is k stiffness its unit in si newton per meter and uh, m is mass is its unit can you guess in kz in si right so doesn't matter what question they are going to ask you so these are the formula basically for damping factor right now next topic is logarithmic decrement it is denoted by delta and delta is equal to 2 pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square this is the formula for finding out logarithmic decrement so can you can you understand this relation between damping factor and uh, logarithmic decrement so understanding the formula first is most important before going to solve numerical problems in any topic okay well uh, these days i am creating lot of videos related to gate problems that's why you will have basic approach as well as concept to solve numerical problems that is why all these videos are coming up okay so let's go for that numerical problem which has been asked in gate and yes if you are beginner then i will definitely recommend you pause this video write down the, these formulas before going to uh, see the numerical problem okay because these formulas play most important role well i will share with you separate videos or uh, for mechanical vibration only for gate point of view with most important formulas those formulas you must remember for solving numerical problems based on the previous gate examination papers right so let's go for the numerical problem so here is the numerical problem let me set yeah you can read the now numerical problem right so in this problem what we have given they said that a vibratory system consists of a mass so mass is 12.5 kg so you must write m is uh, 12.5 kg a spring of stiffness k is equal to 100,000 not 100 it's 1000 newton per meter now what they said uh, a dashboard with damping coefficient of this so they said damping coefficient that means actual damping coefficient they have given 15 newton second per meter right now what we have to find out critical damping okay that means cc we have to find out the formula i have shared with you to find out cc that is 2 
root under k m okay so k what is k i have shared with you stiffness that is thousand and what is m i have shared with you that is what is m that is 12.5 kg okay now what i required can you guess for doing further this numerical problem yeah we required calculator so 1000 multiple 12.5 so 1 divided 2 multiple 2 is equal to 223.606 critical damping newton second per meter its unit also newton second per meter okay now can you guess which one is the not guess you have to see it right because this is practical there is nothing like prediction required so check which one is the right answer and uh, here as you can see the right answer is option a just mark that uh, uh, mark that option and get marks okay now next question is value of logarithmic decrement we have to find out value of logarithmic decrement that is delta delta is equal to what i have shared with you 2 pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square okay now what is zeta basically we don't know so for solving further we have to get the value of zeta so we know we know this that damping factor zeta is c by cc c is how much we have given 15 and cc is 223.606 and it is unitless so 15 divided 223.606 is equal to 0 0.06708 okay now what we required we need to multiply this with 2 and then pi divided 1 minus 0 0.06708 whole square right so what we got from here yeah we have to find out its root 2 so root so what we got value from here that is 0 0.422 0 0.422 yeah and if you see option we don't have option so uh, you know probably i have written wrong or uh, maybe the sample paper from here and the sample in the in the previous year paper they have chosen wrong answer okay so the answer is 0.422 the right option is 0.422 so this is how uh, I mean, this is how you can solve question related to this damping factor i mean damping coefficient as well as critical damping okay so i hope you understand this question so uh, let me talk two three minutes that's why you will understand the basic concept so as you as you right now come to know that most important thing to solve the question numerical problems basically for gate is formula first if required formula first formula is required let me write first first what required you required formula okay second what you required approach and third what is required relation relation what is the relation basically what is relation let me discuss relation between formulas as you know you know here zeta and this one formula for finding out zeta play most important role to find out the answer of logarithm and the value of logarithmic decrement so all things required only one thing if i'll say in one sentence what you required that is practice practice what numerical problems you have to practice numericals so solving numerical problems play really important role remember that and of course if you uh, if you can do this then probably if you can uh, not probably definitely there is uh, uh, maximum percentage of getting good marks in the examination so this is about you know this is about uh, gate examination and yes if you are preparing for sscj and uh, or even ies you can get questions from these topics i mean these days i am making most important topic videos for most important topic based on the previous year paper so i hope you are getting lot of benefits from these videos and of course if you have any suggestion then don't forget to 
share with me i will definitely try to import i uh, try to uh, implement your suggestion in my upcoming videos thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye